Do you need another fob for your Dodge vehicle? Well, I'm Mike with Tom Ski Company, and I'm going to show you how you can use this programming device from Tom's Key Company to make a spare fob for your Dodge, Chrysler, a Jeep vehicles and save a ton of money over the cost car dealerships charge. Let me show you how easy it is to do this. Let's take a look. Now as you work on this, the first thing you need to do is come in and find your vehicle. Today, we're working on a Dodge Journey 2013, that that's code 111. We need dial position number one. Going to be programming the three button version. It doesn't hurt to try the, the one that has five buttons. Uh, the remote start feature will not work because this uh, Dodge Journey doesn't have a remote start option. And uh, But the trunk button should work. To find out if it requires activation, you just press lock and unlock. And the blue light turns on right here. So remember, our code is 111. Now, it's time sensitive. You might see it flashed and timed out, so we need to enter that activation code. Press lock and panic together, the blue light is turned on. To enter it, I'm going to press the lock button for the first digit, one. I'm going to press the panic button for the next digit, one. And I'm going to press the unlock button for the third digit. I'm going to press lock button and it's going to blink back the code. One, one, one. So this fob has successfully been activated. Now we can move on to step number two, and that's the key pairing. So this is going to pair it to your vehicle to allow it to start the engine. Now before I do this, I want to point out, stick around to the end, I want to tell you something important about the emergency key blade. So here's our programmer. Remember back here, we need to be in dial position number one. So we're going to take the programmer, turn it to number one. I also want to point out, you must have one working key fob that starts the engine and lets you drive the vehicle in order to use our kit. If you don't have one working key fob, you need to get one made first at a dealership or a locksmith. So this is our working one with the tile key finder. You might pick this up on our website, protect your investment, pairs to your smartphone, and you'll never lose your keys again. Your phone will always be able to find your keys. And you can use this to find your smartphone if that's misplaced. Before you get too far in, come down, look down here into the gas and brake pedal, find your OBD2 port. You're going to have to plug this in in a few minutes while the door is closed, so you'll have to feel down here to get it plugged in. Turn off your fan, your air conditioner, the radio, anything that's going to drain the battery. And if you look at this plug and it has silver void messages on it, then it's already been used, uh, which should not be the case. but if somehow that happens, uh, make sure you return it and get a replacement. We're going to follow through these steps for the key pairing procedure. First, uh, we've got all the doors closed to the vehicle. The vehicle's in park. We're going to turn the hazard lights on. Now we need to start the engine. So we've got our working key fob in here. We can use that to start the engine. And take your programmer, plug it down into that OBD2 port. Now listen for it to start beeping. Already got it set in dial position number one. Heard it beep twice, then it beeped three times. This programmer is now tied to the VIN number of your particular vehicle. So you can use this to program up to eight key fobs for your vehicle. All right, now we turned off the engine. To continue, we're going to press and release the button here on the top, and we'll hear it beep. Okay, it beeped. Now we're going to take our new key fob right here. We're going to be pushing the unlock button 10 times at one second intervals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to wait five seconds. All right, we just heard three beeps. So that's good. If we didn't hear three beeps, we'd continue pressing that unlock button. Uh, now, since we heard the three beeps, we will press the button to continue on the top of our installer. All right, it made the happy tone. So that's good. This fob is now paired to the vehicle. So let's unplug the installer. Got this guy installed. We've got our two key fobs. Watch the lock button. Okay, here's our existing one. It still works. Here's the new one. 
wasn't that easy. Both of these are working. Now we need to test that they both start the engine. To test that these start the engine, first I need to figure out how far away from the vehicle I need to move these so they don't start the vehicle. So to do that, I'm going to take both of them out of the vehicle, and now I'll try starting the engine. Notice it tells me the key's not detected. I'm pressing the brake pedal, trying to start the engine. No keys detected. Okay, so now I can bring them each back in the vehicle one at a time. Here's the new one. Let's start the engine. Engine's running. This thing's programmed to the vehicle. Okay, let's turn it off. I'm now going to double check my existing one. All right, I put the new one outside, uh, away from the vehicle, and brought the original one back in. Press the brake pedal, press the gas, and the engine started. Okay, both fobs are working. So, that's awesome. That's what we like. Now, remember what I told you? So, you gotta get the key emergency key blade cut to match your existing one. Some car dealerships, locksmiths, hardware stores, some will do it for you. Some uh, refuse to do it if you don't buy the key from them. Our key buy photo service, you add that on when you make the purchase from our website. Take a, three pictures of your existing key, and then we'll actually go ahead and cut your new key to match your existing emergency key blade before we ship it to you. That way it arrives, you never have to leave your driveway, and you can have a, a spare key or two or three made for your vehicle in no time. There you have it. You can't get any easier than using Tom's Key Company to make another fob for your Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and lots of other vehicles. So go visit tomskey.com and place your order today. But remember, if you run into problems, there's a toll-free phone number where you can get technical support. We also offer a full money-back guarantee. So if for some reason you give this a try and it just won't work for your vehicle, send us an email, help at tomskey.com. Uh, we'll help work through whatever problems you're facing, and if we still can't get it to work, no worries. Ship it all back, and we'll refund your money. For most vehicles, this works just beautifully, so be sure your vehicle's on our website. Find the products that'll help you out, and come visit TomsKey.com. Save yourself a ton of money over the cost the car dealership's going to charge. Now, please leave a comment down below. Let others know about your experience. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video so you can find this again when you get ready to program your vehicle. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.